Hello, my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a general reading, taking a look at some challenges that your connection might be going through at this time. General reading as always, so it's not gonna resonate with every single water sign tuning in. So please do take from it whatever makes sense for you and let the rest go. If you're interested in your own personal private reading, all of that info is down below in the description box. And I will also have a list of all of the card decks that I'll be using here today. And these are the two decks that I've chosen this time around for these readings. And the, they're both by Fire Witch Tarot. The first is WTF is the problem. I absolutely love this deck. And Pendulum Answers. And so it does contain profanity. If that's something that offends you, you might want to click off at this time. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what the problem is. What the fuck is the problem, you guys, when it comes to your connection? What is it that you're dealing with right now? So let's take a look at that. We'll grab a couple from this deck and then we'll grab a couple from the pendulum answers angels and spirit guides please for my water signs for cross watchers anyone else who's been guided to tune in here today let's go ahead and grab some insight all right i'm guided to this one here it's like you're on your period all month lol <laughs> okay let's grab one more you can't change them, okay? So there's, this could certainly be something that you're feeling or it could be picking up off of the vibe of the person that you're focused on for this reading. All right, so we'll see how the rest of it plays out. Let's grab some insight now from the Pendulum Answers deck. Angels and Spirit Guides for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces for my water signs. And it's true, you know, ultimately you can't change a person. They are who they are. You are who you are. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be putting up with someone's bullshit, you know? Okay, let's grab this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you can't change them. <laughs> let's grab one more. Move on from this, okay? So, Perhaps this is something that you're already thinking about, my water signs, which is why it's coming through here as a focus message. It's time to move on from a situation, especially if either they've been trying to change you or you've been trying to change them. If someone's just had attitude every single time, you know, I mean, you'll know how it's picking up off of your own situation. All right, so that's what's coming through. Let's add to this with the Arrows of Love Oracle by Mystic Moon. And let's see what else needs to come through here for this reading. Angels and spirit guides, please, for my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, what messages need to come through here at this time? Please bring it forward, angels and spirit guides. What do we have? Hitched. Some of you guys might be married or have thought about marriage when it comes to this particular person that you're focused on but going towards the focus messages some of you who are married may be moving on from this connection especially if there's been issues in regard to personality clashes or you guys just are not seeing eye to eye if you're always bickering and arguing i i just feel here that this is a situation where you guys are just clashing and you're butting heads and it's been very challenging i feel promise engagement ring marriage these could all be things that are a part of your connection with this person or you've discussed marriage you've discussed building a life together you could have also gotten a proposal of marriage from this individual but it's important for both of you to know you can't change each other you have to accept each other for who you both are. The next card is erotic activation. So the sexual connection, the physical aspect of your relationship could be really erotic and magnetic and passionate if you resonate off of that. But it can't just all be about sex and intimacy. You guys have to be able to connect 
on other deeper levels as well. And perhaps that's where the change is. That's where you guys are running into obstacles, possibly. And I just got this message as well, that very first focus message. It's like you're on your period all month. So I have a feeling for my feminines especially, who are just possibly not wanting to be intimate with the masculine, and that could certainly be an excuse <laughs> that you're giving your masculine that, you know, it's that time of the month, it's just, I can't, you know, it's just not gonna happen. That might be a reason that you're not being intimate at this time. Just putting that out there, that came through, okay? We do have the winter card coming through as well. So something of significance could have happened during the winter time for you and this person. Winter energy also is frozen energy. So this connection could be frozen in time or that things are stagnant and frozen and there's not a whole lot of movement between you and this person, especially if there are issues and challenges that are going on here, you guys might also be at a distance or are in separation at this time. And then we've got cloud nine. Some of you certainly could be on cloud nine, especially if things are going along quite well in your partnership or for what I'm feeling here from this is some of you have just gotten into a new relationship and you're on that cloud nine stage with this person. Things are new, things are great. Everything is just perfect for now, you know, and hopefully it stays that way. And perhaps you guys have already discussed marriage and what the future holds, your sexual connection, the intimacy could also be very strong. And you're on cloud nine, everything's looking good. The other interpretation of these cards coming through in this way is you could have just either gotten recently married, married, married or engaged. The intimacy is very good. You guys could have gotten together during the winter time and right now you're on cloud nine. That's the progression of these cards. For some of you, that could be the interpretation. Last card in the spotlight, attention. So a love connection here for some of you. Certainly that's what you're focusing on for this reading. And to me, that looks like a broken heart. So there's issues going on in a partnership and you need to be able to put attention towards that in order to be able to fix what's broken or what's being challenged at this time when it comes to this partnership. And I just happened to glance at the next card and it's partnership. It's a beautiful energy from this particular card. So I do feel here, the person that you are focused on for this reading, first of all, they're either your life partner already, or you guys are having some major issues in your marriage or relationship. It definitely needs attention to be able to address what is being challenged at this time, but that this partnership is very important to you. We'll see how this all ties in together. So let's add to this with the Pining Rose Oracle by Calico Moon. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What else do we need to know here? when it comes to this connection, this partnership. I feel here though, even though there's some issues coming through, you still love each other. The love is still here. And perhaps what it is that you need to move on from are the challenges that you guys are dealing with right now. Just as long as you remember that you cannot change each other and you have to be able to accept one another for everything, you know, your, your person's faults as well as their triumphs of what makes them who they are. And they need to be able to accept you for exactly who you are. You guys fell in love for a reason. We do have soon. And as I've stated in previous readings that I've done, when I first saw this card, you know, I'm, I'm thinking automatically, oh, we've got flames here, so twin flames. But then if you take a closer look, we've got three flames here. So what I pick up from this 
is we've got the two twin flames right here and then we've got a third flame which to me could represent a third party and so perhaps that's what has challenged some of your partnerships here is a third party situation look at this we have i'm sorry we've got a wedding band there or a promise ring another ring an apology so your person wants to come through with an apology and we've got two rings right here i mean what are the chances of that happening a promise ring or a wedding ring no matter how it's being represented in your situation but we also have an apology here so clearly for those of you who are married engaged in a partnership doesn't really matter it's being challenged right now and there's an apology here that either needs to be made or an apology that needs to be accepted when it comes to a potential third party or outside interference or just some major challenges that you guys are going through in your partnership. I do feel someone's heart has been hurt here. We have insomnia. So your person could definitely be losing sleep over what's happened here between the two of you. But look at this, the one. They feel that you are the one for them. And it could be mutual that you feel that you have found your person. We have regrets, however, followed by stalemate. Okay, so as I stated with the winter card, that's frozen energy. So there's not a whole lot of movement, which is picking up off of the stalemate vibe, which is also the two of swords. So for some of you, you might be focused on an air sign, a Libra, an Aquarian, or a Gemini. And there are regrets tied into this connection. What happened that created this division between the two of you? But look at this. It's not over. It's falling right below partnership. So this partnership and the progression that these cards have come through in this order, it might not be over. It might not be over between the two of you. And the, the next card after that, look at this, messages. So your person might be thinking of reaching out to you. And just as I said that, this is the next card, third party, okay? I am picking up off of that for some of you guys, that that's, a part of the problem here that there was outside interference in the connection as a result of this third party but what i am picking up from your person here guys is that they don't want it to be over they've got regrets tied into what happened they want to apologize so things might be stagnant and you guys are at a stalemate but they don't want it to be over so maybe they've either already reached out to you or they're thinking about it they're thinking about reaching out to you Okay, so let's add to this with some tarot. This is the Twin Flame Journey Tarot by Mystic Moon. Once again, angels and spirit guides from my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What else do we need to know at this time? Beautiful. We've got the Ace of Wands. There's a spark here between you and this person. This is fire energy. So for some of you guys, you might be focused on a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. Can't make this stuff up. Look at this. Two of Swords. There we are. Stalemate and indecision. So that's a second reference to stalemate coming through here. There's not a whole lot of movement. It is frozen right now between you and your person. But they do want to come forward with an apology. They do want to reach out to you and say that they're sorry. We've got the Six of Swords. So we've got some air energy represented here. But it looks promising moving forward because this is tranquility ahead with the Six of Swords. There is definitely a transition going on here when it comes to this partnership. 
but it's it's in the horizon it's off in the distance so i feel right now there's healing that needs to happen here between the two of you and part of the six of swords is moving on and leaving something behind when it comes to this connection what needs to be left behind is this third party but you know it's hard to ignore this message coming through as well move on from this so there are those of you certainly who are truly done and want to move on from this connection because they hurt you too much so they might feel as though it's not over and that they still want you but maybe you don't want them it's up to you which is why there's this stalemate energy. They could have already apologized to you and maybe you just weren't accepting their apology. But no matter how things play out, things are going to smooth out. Moving forward in the future, things look a lot calmer, a lot more peaceful for you. We have the King of Cups. Cups is, of course, water energy. So this is your own vibe coming through, especially for my masculines. You're coming through as the king here. Part of the lesson that the king of cups teaches us is that only love, compassion, and understanding can truly bring you the happiness and tranquility that you are looking for. And it's so interesting how those two cards are right next to each other. So from my masculine water signs, perhaps this is what you can look forward to with your person, that things are going to smooth out, that the love is still there. You have to have this mutual understanding between the two of you that you're on the same page and that you can create healing here in this partnership to heal this broken heart and to get rid of this stalemate energy so that you guys can move forward. And look at this next card. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, which is Earth Energy. Love this card because it's all about manifestation. Manifestation of opportunities, prosperity, certainly in regard to your money matters, finances, job opportunities. Things look really good there. But when it comes to your love life, we've got two Aces coming through here, letting you know you can start over and have a new beginning. We do have the strength card here, which is Leo energy. So for some of you, you might be thinking of a Leo here, but this is a reminder for you to just be strong and hold firm to what it is that you are wanting in your life. You're a lot stronger than you're giving yourself credit for. It is falling right below this broken hearted energy from the in the spotlight attention card right here. So even though things are at a stalemate for now and you've gone through a difficult experience with this person, I feel you will overcome that. The strength card is a card that represents a blessing in disguise. The tower does as well. And these blessings come in as a result of lessons that you learn, as a result of the difficult experiences that you've gone through. And some of my feminines, you could be coming through as the queen of swords here. Very sharp and assertive energy from this queen. Again, air energy. Some of you might have air in your chart. So we've got the king and the queen coming through here. But this queen has the capability of cutting people out of her life that no longer deserve to be in there. So if you're feminine tuning in, you might certainly have already cut this third party out and are wanting to create union with the person that you want to be with ultimately have a new beginning a fresh start when it comes to this partnership okay so let's add some romance angels to this angels and spirit guides from my water signs cancer scorpio and pisces what else do we need to know in love and romance for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. 
but they do want to apologize. They feel that you are the one you have. You actually hold the key to their heart. Look at that. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Especially if you feel that it's up to your person to be able to extend themselves and express how they're feeling to you. And maybe you're wanting them to express what's in their heart and to just go for it and to bring about this romantic gesture. And for some of you, that romantic gesture could certainly come in the form of a marriage proposal. We have children. Your love life is being affected by children. We do have the potential for marriage proposals being represented here. So I do feel some of you guys are already married, have children, and or you've discussed this about starting a family together. But I'm feeling more so that this is coming through for those of you who already have children. They as well have been affected by what's being challenged in this partnership. We do have past life relationship coming through as well. You have known each other before. You have connected in a past life. And maybe when you guys first connected, there was this sense of familiarity, like you guys have known each other before. And more than likely, that's because you have known each other before. It's interesting that this is right next to it, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And I feel certainly when people go into separation, it's like you have to start at square one and get to know each other all over again in a whole different way. And I feel too, for those of you who resonate with the past life reference, that when you connected in this lifetime, you guys had to get to know each other in a whole different way in order to uncover the next batch of layers attached to the partnership. This is the next card, flirt. And extend your lighthearted energy to others. This could be how they are with you, very flirtatious in how they interact. Part of this flirt energy might also be tied into this third party. We have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here between the two of you. And that's not something that you even needed to come through here. I feel you already know that. That you and this person have this intense draw towards each other. Next message, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And I do feel here there's a really good chance that you guys can have a new beginning so try to trust in the process of where your journey is at when it comes to this person. Last card is engagement. Do you see that? Proposal, a promise. Hitched. I feel either you guys are already married, proposed to, or this is what's coming in for you future-wise. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And I do feel ultimately that's what you're wanting from your person is to be able to commit to you long term for life, to be able to build a life together, have a family together. For some of you, you might even be combining families. This is blended families for those of you who already have children from previous relationships. Okay, so let's grab some dialogue here. Let's go ahead and give your person the opportunity to come forward with some dialogue. This is the Twin Flame Messages Volume 1 and 2 deck. I combined both of this, these two decks here to create one. So, and of course, you don't have to identify with a Twin Flame connection. That's just the name of the card deck. Let's see what your person has to say to you. So angels and spirit guides for my water signs, for the person that you're focused on here today. What is it that they need to say to you? Please bring it forward for my water signs. And let's grab the bottom card here. All right, this is from your person. From your person. What is it that they need to say? Oh my gosh. 
First message, I don't know how I feel anymore. Okay, so maybe there's been too much time that's passed since you guys have connected or even spoken and they're just kind of numb in their heart space, especially with this broken heart energy that I'm picking up from that card. And it definitely needs attention. That's something that needs healing. And that's not something that you can ultimately help them with. They, they need to be able to heal their own heart space and do the work on themselves and figure out, you know, what is in their heart? Is it frozen? Is it due to indecision and that stalemate energy? And those are things that they're going to have to figure out for themselves. Next message. I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. And perhaps part of these signs might certainly be trying to tell them and give them messages that are reflected here that either they belong with you, they need to reach out to you, whatever these signs are, it's, it's waking them up. Next message, you've been in my dreams. And even though they have insomnia, they're losing sleep over the issues going on here, when they do finally drift off to sleep, they dream about you. And look at this card. I'm sorry, I couldn't follow through with my promises. So I feel here for some of you that it could have been a broken engagement. And once you guys were together and committed in a partnership, they just could not follow through with whatever promises they made to begin with. And they're coming through here saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I couldn't follow through with my promises. Quite revealing right there. Last one. I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. Which is why we have a stalemate here. Because they don't know what to do to be able to create movement towards ascension or to be able to fix this partnership and mend your broken heart and just move things forward. They're struggling with that and so I feel they might need a little bit more time before they can come towards you to express your love or express their love and come through with this romantic gesture. So let's give you the chance to come through with whatever it is that you need to say. This is the Twin Flame slash Soulmate deck, Unspoken Messages, Volume 1 and 2. I combined both decks once again. So let's take a look and see what is it that you want to say to your person. Angels and Spirit Guides for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What is it that you need to say to your person? All right. We'll grab the same amount of cards. One. Two. For my water signs, what is it that you need to say? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. And let's grab the bottom card. This one caught my eye right away and I'll show you. This is coming from you. Can't sleep with you on my mind. So they're dreaming about you. And with this insomnia card, again, coming through, you're having trouble sleeping. They are as well. You guys are on the same page or both going through some similar experiences here. Next message. I block, then unblock you from social media. You know, and if they have tried to reach out to you, maybe that's where they're running into these blocks and they're unable to reach you, perhaps, because you've blocked them which is understandable if you, they got themselves into a third party situation. Totally understandable. Next message. I feel our energies merging together mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. You're still feeling drawn to this person. Sorry for that glare. I'll not get rid of it. Next message. 
I think of you before bed just so I can dream about you. Do you see that? You're both dreaming about each other. That's it. You dream about each other. That's coming through. Oh my God, this glare. Apologize for that. I think of you before bed just so I can dream about you. You've been in my dreams. That's what's coming through from them. Last card. I tried to stop spying on you, but then I got withdrawals. So for some of you guys, perhaps you have been checking up on them as well on social media. And part of this spying too might be, you know, sometimes it could be people that drive by a person's home just to see if they're there or what they're up to. It could be anything, but I, I do pick up off of social media more than likely that you might be spying on them somehow, which is why we've got this card too. I block, then unblock you from social media, depending on what you're seeing. If what you're seeing is that they're with a third party, then totally understandable if you feel the need to block them in that way. Okay. All right, guys. So you guys are coming through with some very similar energies here. So let's add to this with some lovers oracle. Angels and spirit guides, please, for my water signs. We'll take from this. We'll grab a few from here. Take whatever resonates with you, of course. Angels and spirit guides for my water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. Let's grab this bottom card. We have romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Beautiful. Let's see. Okay. Yes, Cupid's arrow will strike both of you. I feel it already has. It's just that your connection has been a bit challenged here. And it might strike again. That's a potential here. Next message. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. And the reason why that is for some of you is because this is your twin flame. This is your mirror soul. You guys are on the same page is what I'm feeling here, even from a distance. Next message. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. And it's so true. And part of the issue going on here at this time um, possibly either for yourself or your person. We have this stalemate energy because either one of you is able to create movement and get it out of this winter frozen energy because there is that stalemate. That's what's contributing to it. But I don't feel that you guys are going to be at that stalemate energy forever. I do feel ultimately you'll find your way back to each other. Okay, last one, sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. And I feel you guys had to go through something quite challenging and painful in order for this realization to come about, either from your standpoint or your person or both of you. Okay, so let's grab some healing messages to close this out. Let's go ahead and grab one for you, Cancer. Then we'll grab one for Scorpio and one for Pisces. Angels and spirit guides, please. Some final thoughts for my water signs. A healing message for Cancer at this time, please. Healing message for Cancer. What a beautiful healing message for you, Cancer. Your soulmate. Perhaps you're thinking about them right now. You're missing them. You want to bring the partnership back. And I do feel based off of the surrounding cards here and the dialogue messages that have come through here, you're both really still invested in the partnership. And I feel as long as you're both willing to work through this and overcome the obstacles and meet each other halfway, there's a really good chance that you can reconnect. So... Some of you are coming through as twin flames, and some of you certainly, especially for cancer, 
coming through as soulmates. A healing message for Scorpio, please. Meditation. So Scorpio, it's a time for you to go within right now. This is very similar in energy for me as the Hermit card in traditional tarot. So it's a time for you to go within to just try to figure things out for yourself. If you feel withdrawn right now, you want to be a loner, just have some peace and quiet. But at the same time, you might also be feeling quite lonely at this time. But this is a card of reflection and reevaluation. Perhaps that's what you're needing at this time to create healing and growth in your life to help you move forward, to find peace, not just in your love life, but all areas of your life that need it. There's a potential here to start over and have new beginnings. Okay, but for now, what I'm feeling here is that you just need some downtime for meditation. All right, one last card. A healing message for you, Pisces. Angels and spirit guides. Healing message for Pisces. Retreat. That could be interpreted in one of two ways. A retreat for me is like a vacation. You know, just spending some quality time at a retreat where you can just relax and not have to worry about anything. Of course, with everything going on throughout the world, that's very difficult to do right now. And we're all just having to retreat inside our homes and just that could be picking up off of your vibe right now. But retreat for me also could be interpreted to mean that you're backing away from a situation that you don't, you don't want to be in any longer. Okay, you're backing away from it. You're retreating. So however way this is resonating for you, it's coming through here as a healing message because by retreating, by backing away from or leaving a situation where you're no longer meant to be there or are no longer invested in it, that's what's going to heal your energy to put you onto a different path that will be much better for you. Okay, so that's what I'm picking up from this reading, guys. I hope whatever part of it resonated with you, that it helped you in however way you needed it. And I'll be back with a whole lot more readings for you guys coming real soon. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys in the next reading. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.